Well, the wind, as you can see, is blowing its bum off at the moment. And uh, we've had to batten down the hatches, get a few extra straps and pegs and stuff put in to keep everything strapped down to get through this. Uh, we were expecting this. Um, I think there was two days, today's day one of two, where the wind was blowing up to pretty much 40k um, all day and then a few big gusts, yep. which we've experienced a couple of already. So we're not too stressed about it because we're going to be here for 10 days, two yep. days of wind. I mean, if we're blessed with four good days, we'll be absolutely wrapped with that. Like you said, we we knew this was coming, yeah. so we prepared today. We'll go and get some bait, get some housekeeping done. We pegged the so, the site down. Yeah, you know how sometimes when you peg the site down, you're like, oh, I'm gonna get back. Something's gonna be on. No, we feel pretty confident. That's pretty good. Yeah. yeah, Pete's got these really good screw in pegs and these um, guy ropes from Ty Gear. You'll you'll probably see that stuff on his channel. Fingers crossed. <laughs> yeah, it's good stuff. No, I'm pretty confident. Dude. So today, um, it's not a bad thing anyway because we've we've only done one solid day of fishing. We fished all day yesterday. We were scouting the ground. Um, we sort of we've marked a few bombies and a few good areas, but we just we didn't have any bait, and um, there was too much current for the soft plastics and stuff, and nothing was happening on the surface with the trolling. So it's all trial and error. Um, we reckon we need some bait for days like that because if we had some yeah, bait mate. yesterday, we would have done it right. There was fish down there, um, <clears throat> just wasn't happening. Big sharp teeth fish as yeah, well. Yeah, it, it was a big shark there too. <laughs> <laughs> anyway, we're gonna we're gonna hoot in the town. Um, the tires are down anyway. Do you laugh because I said hoot? Hoot, yeah. Yeah, I mean, I, I've done that before. Right? It feels weird. I was just gonna keep Gotta going. Gotta be a hoot. Thanks for sorry, buddy. Pointing that out. I was just gonna keep going. We're gonna hoot into town. Um, and uh, is my lens dirty? Yeah. So we're gonna hoot into town. <laughs> you Guys, we're up here in Shark Bay, Western Australia. It's really bloody windy. Um, we're not going to be getting out in the boat today. But what we thought, yesterday we caught a few whiting off the beach last night. Um, and we've also ducked down into town and we got some bait because we had no bait with us. We sussed out this ground yesterday is potentially a pretty good spot for a fish. So we're going to do some land-based fishing today. Um, we've got a little bit of squid, a little bit of whiting. Um, and I'm probably going to catch some crabs as bait. So there's a little bit of a rock pier just in front of us here. I'm going to see if I can get a few crabs for bait and I'll show you the rig that I'm going to be using. Cool, so we managed, managed to get a couple of crabs off the rocks here. Um, all I'm doing is a running ball sinker with a 6-0 hook on some I think that's 80 pound leader, just in case I get reefed or anything. I found a little rock ledge I'm gonna fish off. It's an incoming tide, we're nearly at high tide. And um, I'm just gonna thread that crab onto the hook. And that's basically it. I've never caught um, blue bone this way, but I've, I've seen other people catch blue bone this way, so I thought I'd give it a bit of a whirl. Uh, if nothing happens, there's a few other rock ledges along here, we'll go for a bit of walk, um, or I'll try some squid or some whiting as bait. In the meantime, Pete's actually working further up the beach. He's found what he reckons is a real good uh, pile of oysters. So he's harvested a few oysters off the rocks there, and I think he's gonna do a catch and cook. So go check that on his channel. Anyway, let's see how we go.
been a big old day of catching nothing. We have fished like every location sort of within a short drive of where we're camping. And we have tried spinners, poppers, stick baits, uh, using crab, squid, whiting, um, and even guardy as uh, bait. We've managed to ca catch a couple of little butterfish, whiting, guardy, but nothing really yeah, that we wanted. Oh, Pete's caught a couple of little blue line emperor today, um, but, but nowhere near size. Just can't sort of get anything substantial. It's just not happening today. Tomorrow's looking like probably a good day to go out in the boat, so we'll try that. So here we go. How's the weather? Oh, glorious. <laughs> What the hell? Uh, we just had two days of wind. It's been blowing up 40 set of Ks. Haven't been able to get the tinny out. And today was still windy it's going to be like 20k winds but it's offshore so we thought we should be able to do a little bit of bommy bashing in a little bit closer and then we've woken up to some um some rain that wasn't forecasted the last time we were in reception there was no rain forecasted for today but it rained the whole night anyway we're not going to let it beat us um we're still going to go out and go fishing we want to catch some fish so we're gonna have some breakfast um We'll get into some gear we don't mind getting wet. We don't have wet weather gear, but we'll get into some fishing shirts and shorts and stuff, and we're just gonna brave it. We're gonna go catch some fish. That's the day for us. We're on a mission. It's still gonna happen. Let's get it on. Sun's come out. Oh, it's just nice, isn't it? Changes a little bit of everything feeling, after the weather we've been having. Feeling more positive, eh? Oh, yeah. very positive. Here we go. Oh, oh shit. Bust, bust up, up right there. Bust up. Oh my Lord. There literally is one. It's gonna be over by the time we get there but that's all good. V-E-A uniform. Oh, buttons. Get in. <laughs> yeah, I'll pass it to you, mate. Yeah, yeah. Gee, he's bloody excited, isn't he? <laughs> so we're on our mark. Uh, this is something that we uh, marked the other day on the sounder. I'll show you how I'm running that sounder a little bit later. It's pretty cool. But anyway, simple um, pattern off the rig with a big star sinker. I've got a 6 -oh hook and i got a, a piece of, well, a whole little whiting on there we caught last night. And uh, we'll see how we go. I think Pete's going to try a bit of squid, so we'll see what happens. I'm probably thinking, probably Charlie caught here, Pete. What do you reckon? Yeah, I think so. Yeah, cod? Cod. Probably. It'd be good, nice to get a surprise. Yeah. <laughs> Let's see how we go. What do you got? Little, Second cast, dude. Nice. Like a little blue line, eh? Yep. Blue line, grass snapper, black look, snapper. I don't care, that felt really good to have a bend in the rod, mate. Oh, Want me to have a look for you? Thank you, brother, for you there. Um, so what do we, these are black, where are they? Blue line emperor, minimum size 32. He just makes the cut. Cameron! Yeah! Oh, oh little yeah. Spanish. Little um, Spanish. Oh, look play. at me getting bites too. Stick it down if you want, bud, stick it down. Oh! Petey's on again, what do you got? Oh, oh big blue line. Well, big no. for us. <laughs> a yeah, good big one. For us. A good one. Woo! <laughs> I hope he saw us. What are they going to be? 400? Oh, I've never had this before where I'm getting bites and you're getting a bloody <laughs> um, ball chip. Oh, my Lord. Calm down. <laughs> Woo! How are we looking anyway? One, two, three, four, five, six. Make that seven. Oh. Cam, that would have that been, would have been so, so smooth. Cool, man. <laughs> <laughs> oh, I don't know. I'm just having a bit of a rest. My arms are tired. <laughs> 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 oh, 
does that feel like? Oh, people are going to be laughing at us so know. hard. Hey, they're not even big boys, but we're size, just so happy. A couple of just size fish. <laughs> <laughs> if yeah. that has spent the last three days, though, just sitting there, like, wallowing in your sorrow. Yeah. It's a um, good day, mate. And the sun has bloody come out. I know, it's beautiful. Pete just said, man, I stink like fish. And I said, no, Peter, you smell like victory. <laughs> so good. Uh, yep. What do you got, Pete? Sure. Same one. Another blue another, line? Another, yeah, another blue line. Oh, good size too. Beautiful. Well done, mate. We are, we're gonna we're gonna celebrate tonight, me, me and my man here. We certainly are. <laughs> Spano, yes. Spanish flag. Yep. So I was a little bit disappointed when I first bought this sounder. Um, because I thought that it came with charts, and I've accidentally bought one that doesn't. Um, I'm still a little bit disappointed about that, to be honest with you. But we're sort of finally, both of us are sort of figuring out how to read the, um, the sonar, and that's how we found this fishing ground today. So we we bombed out probably, what, we're, we're maybe a kilometre, or just less than, yeah. from, from our base camp, and we found a big bommy, and uh, we, we dropped a waypoint on it, and that's what we've come back out to today. So really wrapped, that's paid off for us, that's worked really nicely. Um, in case you're wondering how I'm powering the thing, I'm using a jump start pack. That's the All Spark jump start pack. I use that for um, if the battery goes flat in my car, that's how I jump start. I also charge the kids' uh, iPads and stuff like that off the USB ports. This thing's a little ripper. I've done some quick maths to try and figure out how long I could use this thing, and I thought it was going to be like four to six hours based off what I thought the sounder drew. Um, but we were out here the other day for eight hours, probably. At least. Yeah, yeah at least eight, eight hours. Percent. So I'm absolutely wrapped with that. It's not waterproof, so I'm, sort of, I'm putting it somewhere where it's not going to get splashed or anything. Um, but yeah, that's wicked. Stoked with that. So that's from Off-Road Living. That's their jump pack. Rate that. Anyway, we've done pretty well. Um, we've been fishing with squid and whiting. Uh, for the first hour, we basically caught seven fish. So we've got a mixed bag there, a blue line emperor, um, stripy sea perch, and what have we got, a couple of Chinamen there, or one yep, Chinaman? Yep, one Chinaman. Yeah. So absolutely wrapped with that. No monsters in there, but they're all good table fish. I also hooked a pink snapper and a blue bone, but they were both a little bit too small. That's cool. This reef, like I said, is really close to base camp, so we're getting better weather over the next four days. The wind's pretty much halving. The sun should be shining and we have found a few reefs that are a little bit further out and we're gonna bomb out there. So to find this ground, we're using the sonar on the fish finder there. Pete's also downloaded a really cool app that he's talked about in his videos. Um, so you can go over there and have a look at that if you want. That's been um, really beneficial. But for now, when we've, had it, we've got enough. It's gone a little bit quiet. It's pretty windy out here. We're gonna bomb back in and um, I'm gonna cook some lunch. I'll show you what I'm doing when we get back there. Cheers, guys. <laughs> yeah, boy. Yeah. Here we go. Here's the spoils of the day. I'm going to fill up these up on the beach and then we'll make some lunch. Absolutely wrapped with that. Bow to the filleting yeah. master. <laughs> you goose. Uh, hopefully there's enough battery power there. Oh, 52%. Should be right. So what we end up with, we end up with um, stripies or sea perch, and we end up with blue line emperor, and Two a couple cod. of cod. I'm gonna use the cod to do something I've wanted to do for ages, do some ceviche. So it's not um, raw fish, but it's fish that's uh, sort of cooked in lemon or lime juice, sort of in an acidic kind of slurry. So that doesn't sound too appealing, but I reckon it's going to be really good. And there's a lot of nice, yum, fresh flavors in there. So let's do that. So I've got some cherry tomatoes. I'm just going to halve them and bang them in there. They'll stay all yummy and juicy-like. Probably just do eight of them. Tell me, is there anything you don't like here, Pete? Love it all, mate. Cool. I'm going to do some red onions, super duper thin. 
mandolin would have been good for this, eh? You know the Chinese instrument? <laughs> <laughs> Is that what they're called, mandolins? The things that cut these yeah, it's really thin? <laughs> Is it also a Chinese instrument? No, it's another citrus fruit. Mandarin. <laughs> <laughs> Yeah, uh, we haven't even started drinking yet. No, either. no. So what's that fish meant to do? Take on those flavours as well in the uh, flesh? I don't know. I don't know. I don't know. I imagine it will a bit, hey. You meant to eat the fish on its own or oh, we it in? We're gonna scoop it all up on. I got some tortilla strips. Oh very nice. You like? So Oh man, I got a few little cuts on my fingers. Feeling that. that Loving nice? it. Loving it. <laughs> That already smells amazing, doesn't it? Yeah. It's got all the good stuff in it. Um, and then some jalapenos. Or jalapenos, however you want to pronounce it. <laughs> oh, my hands are so slippery. Can I use your man hands for a sec? <laughs> oh, that's why I bring you. Definitely not for the filleting. <laughs> I agree. You like jalapenos, love do you? Love them, mate. Yeah, absolutely love them. In your subway? Yeah, loads of it. I reckon that's how most people in Australia are introduced to jalapenos, is that subway? Subway. <laughs> Seriously. <laughs> We're such a cultured bunch. <laughs> Through the way. That's so good. That'll do it. Mm. Look how clear the sky is now. Beautiful. Right. That is it for now and then i'm gonna put this fish in that one so many choices for fish in that fridge right now Peter. oh do you even have enough fridge room oh barely <laughs> slice that up sorry mate feels weird putting raw yeah does it fish in minutes we'll come back and should be eaten <clears throat> right so we left that for about 10 minutes they the instructions I had said about five and no more than 20 but we just left it a little longer because I don't know we did anyway that looks incredible looks good that really does the smell good yeah it does smell good you happy for me to dish for you Pete yeah absolutely man. cool man wouldn't usually catch us having a meal like this on at camp and I mate. No way. Too healthy. Yeah, I know veggies and stuff, crazy. Love it. I absolutely love it. That was uh in the water alive about what half an hour, an hour ago? Not long ago, mate. Cool. Um on top, I'm gonna bang some avo. And some coriander. Wait, that looks pretty good, eh? It does. It looks very gourmet. Cool, pretty wrapped with that. Let's do it. Let's sit down and get into it. <laughs> Cheers, there's some um, corn chips there to scoop it up. I'll get you your drink. I might actually try it on its own, eh? Yeah. Have you got a fork? Yeah, sure have. Cool. That was your one, mate. Thanks, buddy. Spoils of a fishing session, eh? Yeah, well done. How good. Cheers, mate. Cheers. Good Beautiful. day. Yeah. Get a bit of everything. Different to what you'd think, eh? Hey? Well, but very much more pleasant than you'd think. You yeah. think to yourself that it's going to be raw fish. Mm. It absolutely is not. Doesn't taste fishy at all. It's, it's more of just a texture now. Yeah. I was going to sign off that video there, but Pete and I got talking about drinks and stuff. Got drinking about. Yeah, we got drinking about. <laughs> and um, we thought we might do it, man, it's sun so bright. We thought we might do a bit of a cocktail. 
So Pete's just sort of getting his chowder together. Ha ha ha! Ha ha ha! dear! Show dear! It's chowder! Say it right! And um, I'm going to do a bit of a cocktail in this keg. So I've got some ice from the ice machine. Ice machine's been running off the inverter in Pete's tent there. I'm going to bang this in there and then I'll, I'll uh, tell you what ingredients I'm going to put in it. Should be pretty cool. Some pineapple drink. Coconut liqueur. Have you got some of that, um, that whiskey, Pete? Sure have. Should I put some of that coconut cream in? I think you should. Be nice. Will you use the rest for cooking? We can put it into something. <clears throat> would you put it we'll in the chowder? Oh, that would be nice. Why do you come up with good stuff like that? I'm a genius. Oh yeah. Just thinking we need a bit of lime juice in this too, eh? Oh yeah? Whoa, 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 whoa. Oh, that's pretty good. Have a go of that, mate. Is that it there? Yeah, go on. Oh, I can't wait to taste this coconut cream. Uh, that's all right, eh? How did you say that wasn't what you expected? That is better <clears throat> than normal. That, that's me. The lime juice just made it, I've got to say. I love that pineapple drink as well. Yeah. But I like the... I'm getting creaminess. I yeah. literally am. Yeah. It's good, eh? I could have almost had more. Cheers, brother. What a day. That's nice. Oh, we'll finish that keg tonight. Yeah, we're definitely going to drink that. Thanks, Cam. Pete's got his chowder on. I just want to quickly share a couple of things with you. I'm checking the recipe. <laughs> oh, yeah? Yeah, I am. How good is this? We weren't... Um, oh, long story short, my induction top has broken. I don't know what's wrong with it. It stopped working. I'll talk about that later. I'm going to do a, a episode coming up in a couple of weeks where I talk about 12 volt um, off-grid camp cooking uh, and battery systems and stuff like that. It'd be quite interesting if you're into that kind of stuff. Anyway, long story short, we were without a stove. Um, and we had a Weber, because we're gonna do roasts and stuff like that. We found a way to fit this little smart space pan on you top found of- a way. Yeah, on top of the roasting rack, and it fits absolutely perfectly right on the um, gas ring. On the and it Ziggy. holds it, like, it, steady. It is wedged That's just the handle, there. but like- It's so good. We're absolutely wrapped with that, and it's working absolutely perfectly. <laughs> well just, done, dude. That's oh, so good. Just works so well. And also, in other news, I froze a few water bottles to use as <laughs> ice bricks for the Esky. In other news. So and good. as they've frozen, they've bloody swollen and they are wedged in tight there. So I'm having to defrost the fridge in the middle of camp, which is less than ideal. <laughs> ah, well. Anyway. It was all with good intentions. It was. Don't shut that, don't shut no, that. No, no, sorry, yep. Um, yeah, anyway. A few more cocktails and some chowder air. See what great idea we can come up with next. Yeah. <laughs> that just unbalanced each other. <laughs> it did. <laughs> Good idea, bad idea. Anyway, a couple more cocktails and um, we'll be getting into that chowder. And there we go, that's our evening. Our little dinner date. Guys, Pete's uh, cob loaf. What is it, chowder cob loaf? Yeah. With fresh fish. Turned out bloody amazing. If you want to see how we made it, how we caught the fish, all the rest of it, jump over to WA Camping Adventures YouTube channel. Make sure you subscribe. And uh, that's- So happy, dude. That's definitely- it for us tonight. We will see you in the next one. Cheers, guys. Thanks for your help, man. Pleasure, mate.